Hi, this is Joel Mayer. Do you remember the animation of the spider that runs all around the pumpkin? Today, I will share with you what I did to create this little 12 seconds long animation. I started by installing a green screen. I used two old light stands, each topped with a wooden block sculpted especially for me by a kind neighbor. I adjusted the brackets to the same height and I put a curtain rod in the hollow of the wooden blocks. Then I hung the green screen on the rod. The green screen is used as a plain background that you can then replace with another image using the video software. Instead of a green screen, you can also use a blue screen. If you don't have brackets and a curtain rod, you can attach a piece of green fabric to the wall using thumbtack, for example. I placed a small table in front of the green screen on which I placed a big pumpkin. Then I put up my lighting. The lights consisted of two 500 watts lamps that I placed on either side of the pumpkin. Finally, I placed my tripod with the camera at a distance where I could take good pictures of the pumpkin and the spider. As the spider is sometimes placed precariously on the pumpkin, I used a reusable adhesive paste to hold it in place. The spider is made of a cell of an egg carton and I placed the adhesive paste in the hollow of the egg carton cell. I started the animation of the spider with the spider hiding behind the pumpkin. Then it went all around and finally it went to hide behind the pumpkin again. The pumpkin and the camera have to remain in the same place during the photo session. Do not change the lighting or the distance from one photo to the next. So from one picture to another, I move the spider by small incremental movements. Sometimes I move the spider forward or I lift at one leg and place another leg down, etc. To create the animation, I took about 250 pictures with small movements of the spider around the pumpkin. This kind of animation is called stop motion. Here is the animation of the spider in front of the green screen. You will see that the lighting was not always constant. I eliminated about 50 pictures, either because there was not enough movement of the spider or because the lighting was not uniform when the flash of the camera went off. Obviously, having a spider running around a pumpkin in front of a green screen is not as interesting as seeing a spider running around a pumpkin in front of a pumpkin patch. To create the illusion, I took a picture with a beautiful pumpkin patch. I superimposed my first picture with the pumpkin from which I removed the green screen. These two images together will form the background of my video. Then I introduce one by one the pictures with the spider. From these pictures I remove not only the green screen but also the pumpkin so that the background remains stable throughout the animation. I saved each picture individually and then I introduced the 200 pictures in my video program. The result is an animation of a spider that runs around a pumpkin. This animation of 12 seconds took me about 3 days of work. And now you know the secret behind the animation of the spider. You could introduce children to the stop motion technique to make interesting animation projects. For children, this may be an exciting way to learn. Try using their favorite stuffed animal or Lego characters. Feel free to share your projects on Anima Plates. By sharing your project, you may inspire other educators and children. I hope to see you soon on the Anima Plates website.